All right, uh, temperatures today going to be about the same high wise upper 80s to near 90 degrees, but the humidity should be uh, noticeably higher than where we were yesterday. We had a break from the mugginess. Now that mugginess is going to be increasing as we go Wednesday, Thursday going to be the hottest uh, uh, muggiest days that we're going to have so far this week. A heat wave coming in, but overall short lived. And then we're going to look for hopefully more clouds to build in rain chances to come back. The heat to shift a little more to the west of us and we'll get uh, temperatures to take a little bit of a dip going into the weekend. Big cluster of showers and thunderstorms got going in Colorado, Western Kansas late yesterday. It's been diving southeast overnight. We were stuck in this pattern last week. We had a break from it yesterday and now we've got another one coming in all of last week. Some of these would make it through. Some of them die and fizzle out. This one is going to continue trucking along to the southeast and we're going to look for the eastern edge of this to impact parts of five country. Big flooding issues going on in central Oklahoma this morning. Uh, some of the leading wave or leading edge of showers moving in along the Arkansas River. This is east central Oklahoma, Sequoia County. Some rain along uh, from Salisaw along I-40 down to Muldrow. Some uh, heavier downpours along the Arkansas River there. We're dry right now. Fort Smith, Van Buren. We've got showers coming in northern LaFleur County. Pecola seeing the rain start to pick up. And then we've got some showers starting to move into the Highway 71 corridor in Sebastian County. All the way back down towards Waldron, northern Scott County. We've got some rain moving in. Some lightning not anticipating any severe weather though some lightning and gusty winds are the main threats. Future track radar, uh, this particular model that I'm using here today, I feel like it's done the best in the last several days. And I think it's got a good handle on everything so far from overnight into this morning. This updates every hour and you wouldn't believe how off it can be at times, but I think it's been doing really well the last few days. Bringing in most of the rain near and south of I-40, the further north we go, we could get a little band here of some spotty downpours. Those will likely fizzle out the further north they go into northwest Arkansas. And then overall, the morning rain will shift to the southeast. With daytime heating, we could see a few pop up lingering isolated showers uh, in the River Valley and then off towards the south into the Washitals. Again, at least not everyone's getting rain, but we all get the cloud cover uh, from the large area of rain in Oklahoma. So that'll hold temperatures down some. We could be much hotter. We'll look for highs to be in the 80s to near 90 degrees northwest Arkansas with some afternoon sunshine mixing in. Again, noticeably higher humidity today than yesterday. We've got more rain cool. 70s lingering longer with the clouds and the showers in the area for the River Valley. That's a win for you as the rain moves out and the clouds thin out. We'll look for temperatures to make a run through the 80s up to near 90 degrees. Overall, here's the setup for us for the rest of the work week. Ridge of high pressure is shifting away, but still very much in control, pumping in some hot, muggy air Wednesday, Thursday. As it continues to slide further away into the weekend, we've got that jet stream coming out of the northwest. It's not that far away. River of fast moving air, storm systems track along that. We'll have chances of showers. They're there. I've got them low the next few days. We're just going to have to watch some storms making a run for our area. It looks like Missouri may have the best shot for rain into eastern Arkansas the next couple of days. We'll keep an eye on it, but that northwest flow gets a little better for us as we go back into the weekend. So Saturday into Sunday, that kind of brings in some better chances. It, it, this northwest flow pattern that we've really spent all